<laughs> what just happened? Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids, everyone. Jungle's back, but unfortunately not bowling today because we got the brand new damn good verge by Deviate. So you might've seen this ball on TV already a couple times, been on the past couple TV shows, the Players' Championship. And man, does this ball roll really good for those guys on TV. So we're gonna see it here today with two completely different styles. Bark's little stroke and lefty up the left side and Goots, for some reason, is rev dominant one-hander. Unbelievable, I don't know how he does it. So the new verge here features the same core, except they compressed it just a tiny bit to lower the RG, which makes it hook a little bit earlier. It also features a solid cover stock, just like the original Verge here, but it's gonna be a little bit stronger. So we got a little bit earlier hooking, a little bit stronger cover stock. We're gonna see the ball pick up a little bit earlier, I think, maybe hook a little bit more, maybe the same. We'll see. So we got Goots back by popular demand. He's gonna compare it against the Verge Pearl. And of course, Barkle here after his two week quarantine. Ooh, was that a good two weeks? No, I'm kidding. He's gonna compare it against the original Verge. So with these balls being symmetric and in sort of in the upper mid, mid-range level, uh, we're gonna bowl on Broadway 37 feet on left lane with blue pins and on the right lane 41 feet beaten path on the yellow pins. So the boys are gonna play a couple different angles for you, a couple different lines. So let's see how these balls react against one another and let's see how good this ball really is. Bowling on 37 feet. I'm gonna try four different lines. I'm gonna start playing as far right as I can and I'll keep moving left. Not bad, not bad. Struck, not the cleanest strike, but eh, I'll take it. I'm gonna compare that one with the Birch Pro. Well, technically, this ball should go a little longer, a little bit more snappier. Back to 26, throw it to 15 and 5, and see how it goes. So much cleaner. I actually like that ball better for that line. Probably better for this pattern to be honest compared to the damn good birch. But they will strike. I'm gonna play fifth arrow. Let's uh, see how it goes. What can I say? I got it all. <laughs> I got it all. <laughs> what just happened? That's okay. All right, let's see what Barker does on the short pattern. Hey guys, Barks is back. Typically the gutter is in play on this type of pattern. So let's start straight up the gutter and see how far in we have to move off of that. All right, a little high through the face, as expected. It's a lot of ball and it's really early. So let's adjust off of that. Smooth five right. Pretty good shot. Little uh, swisher there. Didn't quite get the seven out. I'm happy with the result. I can move a little bit in from that and slow the speed down and get that ball to face up a little nicer. Really good shot there. I slowed the speed down a little bit to make it face up. Face up a little too much. Six pin. One thing I want to mention, sparkles. Purple and sparkles, one of my favorite combinations. Looks a lot like the Triton Elite. I like that line a lot. Good amount of mid lane, but still got enough energy to really hit those pins really hard. So my comparison ball is the original Verge, Verge Solid. Let's throw on the same line that I just struck and see if there's any difference in shape. So that shot there, the verge is a little cleaner through the front part of the lane. The shape down lane is about the same, but 
didn't finish through the pins quite as well. So I'm gonna move a little bit left and see if I can get that seven to kick out. Yeah. Little less overall hook looks like, not quite as early as well. So if you guys have been watching the PBA the last few weeks, you've seen a lot of guys throwing this damn good verge and have a lot of success with it. So my question for you today, if you see a ball have success on TV, are you more likely to buy it? Let me know in the comments. So that's enough here on Broadway. Let's move over to 26, beaten path, 41 feet. What's up guys? Now we are over here on beaten path on the right side. Let's see what the verge or the damn good verge do. It does. <laughs> Let's see what the damn good verge does. I'll take that. I'll take that. Well, let's move in a little bit. Try and play 15 to 5. It'll probably give me a better angle, better look. Won't have to gas it so hard. I was right. I was right. That was a pretty damn good shot with a pretty <laughs> damn good ball. Man, that hurt my ears. That's striking. <laughs> right, let's try the Birch Pearl. Same line. Might go a little longer. That's sharp. Holy. I think these two are going to be a good one two punch. So those were good shots. Let's move to 25, throw it to 15, and uh, see it come back. So that shot with the damn good verge, good off my hand. It was nice and smooth, it wasn't sharp at all. And uh, that's honestly a ball I'm probably gonna be using for like medium patterns. Probably a lot. Like damn, that's, that's literally a good ball. So I'm gonna compare that with the Verge Pro. Same line. This will give me a lot more back end. Woo! That was sick. Where have you been, good? I've been working to be honest. I haven't really been anywhere because of COVID. Kind of wish there was tournaments down here. Uh, but you know what? Practice with the boys here and there. That's that's all I can ask for at the moment. Remember that ridiculous shot on 25? Yeah, I'm gonna do it on here too. Um, all right. That's uh, I need a little, a little bit more step. Just so you guys know, I do work here. I am one of the mechanics, so uh, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Five more left. Let's go to Barks on uh, this pattern. Uh, let's see how he does. So Goose just finished bowling here on beaten path. Let's try the same thing. Damn good verge. All right, so let's try and hang one off the ditch and move around from there. Actually not bad. Picked up early, but it didn't really shape to like really down, far down lane. Really good shot there. When you're bowling here, when you're trying to play the ditch, sometimes it has the tendency to hang a little bit. And that ball hooked early, but it didn't quite want to corner till too late. I think you gotta move in just a little bit. Uh, not much I can really say there, that was pretty sweet. So a little longer pattern, that damn good verge looks pretty damn good. Uh, <laughs> it's a little too strong for the short, goes a little too sideways, um, blends it out really nice on this pattern though. So let's throw the Verge, that same line that was kind of on the ditch. I think it'll be a little bit longer and it might be a little bit sharper as well. Yeah, like expected, a little further down the lane. Didn't corner quite as hard though. You're definitely getting more overall hook out of the damn good verge versus the verge solid. So let's move in a little bit and slow the speed down and let this thing corner a little harder. Same sort of thing, a little further down the lane. Doesn't quite pick up and drive through the pins well. That's how you get that kind of mixer 10. So on a pattern like this, I'm liking the damn good verge a lot. Love that shape. Let's see how far right I can go on this one. <laughs> what the 
hell was that? <laughs> so as you can see there, the ball has enough strength to get back from that deep, but the shape isn't quite as good as when I'm a little bit straighter. I don't like seeing the 410 go late. All right, let's move back left a little bit and pack one. Send it back. We're back from the lanes. Uh, honestly, the damn good verge is probably the best spot I ever threw from DV8. Watching it go down the lane, it's very versatile. I noticed that after Jordan actually changing my layout, it really suited patterns better as I'm not getting that crazy back and reaction. With the smoother layout and the new Verge cover stock, when I see it go down the lane, it really suits my eye so much better compared to the balls I threw in the past. The Verge Pearl compared to the damn good Verge, this one gives me a lot more back and reaction. So it's something that I can use later on in the block. Once this ball starts to burn up and you know, it doesn't finish at the pins properly, I can always switch to this one. These two are very good compliments. And just like I said on the lanes, they're a good one-two punch. <laughs> as well as watching Barker throw the Verge Solid. I think the Verge Solid will fit right in the middle of these two. So with my style, I'm a little bit more rev dominant. So the balls that rolls a little bit earlier and a little smoother really suits my game a lot better. I don't come across a lot of patterns that requires me to throw big tanks. So therefore, this ball is gonna get a lot of use on the fresh for me because of how smooth and controlled it is. Now let's hear what Barker has to say. All right, everyone, I'm back from the lanes. I'm trying out the new damn good Verge from DV8 Bowling. As Jung said in the intro, this ball's been on TV a handful of times. I saw those shows, it looked really, really good. I had to order one. I was especially a big fan of the original Verge, so I thought, let's drill them the same, let's see how they perform. So as far as what I saw in the lanes, with the damn good Verge here, the stronger cover stock definitely let that ball roll a lot earlier. It was actually more overall hook than the Verge. I was a little bit surprised by that one. The Verge is a ball I like to play really straight with, but clear the fronts a little bit easier. The damn good Verge here is probably two to three feet sooner, but a very similar shape off the break point. So what I saw was not two balls that really overlapped, but complemented each other really, really well. So if you're throwing the damn good Verge and you see it start to burn up a little bit and not kick those corner pins out, go to the Verge. You get a couple more feet of length, you'll keep that same shape off the break point, and it'll kick out those corner pins a little easier. So for my style of play, with the two patterns we bowled on, I think the damn good Verge looks a little bit better on the shorter pattern, 37 feet, Broadway, but it did look really good on beaten path too. It looked really versatile. I don't know if it's gonna look great on long, We'll have to try that out in the coming days. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe below. Uh, make sure you check out our new website, shop.jrproshop.com. We got lots of new balls. We got a lot of old gems that you can't find anymore. Shoes, apparel coming soon. So don't be startled by the prices. They're all in Canadian dollars. So I'll see you all again in the next vid. I'll be back again with the Obsession and Obsession Tour by Hammer. So stay tuned for that.